What's up, y'all? It's Groove. Actually, I um, kind of just uh, completed my uh, hyperspin setup. Well, for now. I uh, just want to give y'all a little demonstration here. Let me uh, grab my keyboard. Uh, I'll go ahead and launch hyperspin. All right. Um, at the beginning, we have MAME. MAME is the uh, multi multiple arcade machine emulator. Um, this is uh, pretty much like your old classic games here. Got a few golden cheap games like Galaga. Um, of course, you may notice I have on the top monitor, I had the marquee, and then I had the top five scores now. Uh, I was able to figure that out, and it's pretty stable. And uh, I've got about 180 or so games on here. Uh, mostly stuff from the 80s and early 90s. But uh, uh, we'll back out. All right. So we've got the uh, uh, NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. I pretty much had everything that's ever come out for it. That's uh, Japanese, European, and uh, from the U.S. Um, I have all the videos set up for every game. And that's for, well, apparently that one didn't work. Alright, we're back out of here. We'll go to the uh, Super Nintendo. And there's like 800 or so games of these. I, I haven't even counted them. Most everything's working. There's a few weird games that don't have videos, but I'll figure that out later. Alright, now we'll go to the uh, Nintendo 64. I uh, pretty much have everything from them as well. Some stuff I haven't even heard of. But again, that's pretty much all Japanese, European, and from the U.S. Alright, we'll go to the Nintendo GameCube. I uh, did get this working. I may have uh, posted that in a re recent video. But uh, I only have a few games on this right now. I uh, still need to go through and kind of pick and choose which ones I want. Alright, we'll go to the Sega. Uh, so we'll start off with the Sega Master System. Uh, there's several hundred games of these. So, I mean, we're talking <laughs> hundreds. Alright, we'll go to the Sega Genesis. Again, there are hundreds of these. I'll go scroll and I'm, I'm at the C's now. So, pretty much anything you had ever played on that system, I pretty much have it. So, that goes for NES, Super Nintendo. Alright, Sega CD. I actually got this one working. Uh, I only have a few games for it, but it's all good. Um, yeah, what the heck, we'll go ahead and launch it, just see what happens. Oh my guess I need to grab the controller, hit start. And it just loads up just like, uh, just like the Sega CD would. have 32x as well. Um, 32x was an add-on to the Sega Genesis to make it 32-bit. Wasn't very popular. There's a few games on it. All right, Sega Saturn. Uh, I'm not sure if this is something I had on my last video or not. Um, a lot of working on this, and I uh, got it working properly. Um, <clears throat> So, I mean, this has some of the, uh, uh, I'm missing a few games. I only pick and choose just a few games on, 
But uh, Sega Saturn is, is on there. <laughs> Dreamcast. This was my favorite pretty much of all time. Uh, I'm still having to choose which games I want to put on here. Because these things take up to roughly a gigabyte each. And that can fill up a hard drive pretty quick. But yeah, Crazy Taxi, Crazy Taxi 2, Daytona USA, Jake Ryan Radio, Resident Evil Code Veronica. I played this game a lot. This is actually my first introduction to the Resident Evil series because I did not play them on the uh, PlayStation. And we'll get to that here in just a bit. Like right now. Alright, so I had the uh, PlayStation emulator. Alright, so, of course, Symphony of the Night, Dead or Alive, I did not play this on the on PlayStation, but I did play the Dead or Alive 2 on the Dreamcast, so I was kind of interested, so I got it anyways. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I think you saw that I saw, had uh, some Final Fantasies, Ridge Racer, Resident Evil, I uh, picked up Silent Hill, which I don't have the movie for. All right, well, I'll have to fix that. Uh, Tony Hawk, Twisted Metal. All right, so we've got the Tur Graphic 16, uh, which is also known as the PC Engine. Uh, there's a couple hundred games on that as well. Um, it was popular in Japan, but not so much here. But, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time. I got all the uh, videos you know, set up for it. I've got uh, all the artwork set up on the uh, monitor on the top. And uh, everything's actually working very well. Uh, actually, I may uh, actually set up a arcade. I may actually build an arcade-type uh, controller setup. So get a couple sticks, a bunch of buttons, uh, maybe even a roller uh, so I can play some Golden Tee. But that's all I got for now. All right, y'all take care.